Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be spectating random, so we need to go to the Gulag right away. I think this time we're going to focus on a regain game, so I think we're just going to let this guy win the Gulag. The whole purpose of this series is to kind of figure out how people play and kind of give real game uh, tips, like live in the moment, um, and kind of talk about how they rotate, maybe their loadout choice, um, whether or not if they're trying to go for more kills, if they're trying to go for a win. And over the time, a lot of people really enjoy the series because there's so many things you could take away from it. Um, if you're above the player's skill level, cool you know maybe you get to have a quick laugh or something if you're below the player skill level or maybe you relate to the player what's this guy doing maybe you relate to the player um you can kind of see some of the mistakes you're making through another player's action so enjoy the video learn something new please do me a favor hit the like button if you're brand new want to find your way back double check make sure you are subscribed with notifications on a lot of people have been keep asking for do a spectating rebirth do a spectating rebirth i'm gonna do that on more j god so if you want to check that out that'll be over on my second channel which is linked near the top of the description so we got wesley snipes here level 20 within this uh new season has packet burst we came in with 75 latency so we're probably connected to east coast server for whatever reason you know how skill-based matchmaking is um, we got tons of packet burst on this left and this guy's uh, latency was bouncing between 60 up to 105 so this is definitely going to probably be a sweatier lobby i don't know about this player's skill because obviously we ended up going against somebody who lost a gulag right a minute like they were in the gulag immediately so they definitely got shot out of the sky um and We'll see if we end up spectating into a hacker. I mean, every game has been cheaters. Uh, I know a lot of times I get comments off the wall. It feels like, j God never talks about cheaters. It's like, I'm talking about cheaters literally in every spectating randoms video. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? It's like every match gets ruined by a cheater. We end up looking up the stats of some ridiculous fool with uh, 12 KD or something crazy. Um, but usually we don't get to spectate them until like top five. I think we've only been one time where we spectated someone super early. As common as the hacking and cheater problem is, um, it, it causes to lead a lot of people down a, a road of thinking literally everyone is cheating. You know, obviously there's a large portion of the community uh, that is playing by the rules, but then there's obviously the, the bad apples out there that are ruining it for everybody. Uh, most of them are lower skilled players, I would say that, because... Um, it is what it is, right? The KDs would be way higher if you were actually cheating. Considering that we've spectated some bad players with walls, and they have like a weekly 6 KD. It's like, dude, you're terrible. How do you barely have that? But it is what it is. It's weird that this bar is red, because normally it's a blue or yellow. So I wonder if that's from spectating. The guy landed next to you. What's going on here? Why does the guy land on him? What the hell is this? You, you, No way you lose this. Okay, I was about to say... This guy landed on this dude out in the open. I, what's going on? There's not even a contract out here. Maybe he saw the... I don't know. This is already a weird lobby. Um, hopefully, it's a higher skilled one. I mean, I haven't played much for Verdansk. I showed my stats on stream the other day. I had like two matches in Verdansk, right? Since season four. And basically, they were both spectating matches. But I have almost 300 matches in Rebirth with mostly randoms because a lot of times i play rant with randoms i think it's a little bit more fun um because sometimes when i play with just people i know then either they're better than me so they get way more kills <laughs> um which is a lot of the times you know i play with a lot of good players in, in, in the past um obviously me at 33 i don't have anything to prove i just play the game for what it is um i know my skill level is above average uh well above average but I'm not the type where I'd go play wagers. I don't think I invest the time enough in the game. Considering I only play three matches and I have 200 in rebirth, 300 in rebirth, it's just not enough play time. Just guys in the vehicle, they still haven't fixed this spectating um, with a vehicle bug. I don't know if they changed it just because when they added these stupid vehicles. But every spectating we've done, they end up following the vehicle from place to place. And it's just like terrible angles. And you can see we've had terrible connection this entire time. And that's just the lobbies that people deal with on a regular basis. The game will force you into guys swapping seats. It is what it is. So this zone is, I mean, they already kind of know what's going on. Maybe get another recon if they're doing recon warrior stuff. Because a lot of times what, what you want to figure out is if the zone's going to end on the left, the right, the north, the south. So you can plan your positioning wisely. Because although it could just end hospital, that's like a... Hey, let me guess, it's going to end hospital. 
Um, there, there's still too many rotations. This guy just came out on Madman. I wish we, uh, bad timing. He just drove up, managed to kill that dude. We missed a gunfight there. I didn't think this guy was going to get into a gunfight like that. The hell's going on here? Okay, he has 9,500, looking for 500 more. But getting back to what I was saying, you have to know what side it's going to rota rot rotate to if you're playing 100% for a win. Got a free birthday here. If you're playing for a win, you need even those subtle changes because then you know what side of the circle you need to be on when it does rotate. Um, you can choose your positioning so you have the high ground. If you want to be stealthy, you can run ghost. If you want to be aggro, then you can clear out certain edges of the map so you know that when people rotate, oh, that aim went to, the aim looks like the aim we had before. He's just praying and spraying. He finally got the kill. Luckily, he has a 100 round mech um, because it was looking bleak there here for Wesley Snipes. And he just got hit with the snipe, and he's out the match, and he's gone. No more Gulag, because we, we met him in the Gulag, right? So let's see what's going on here. This guy hit some clean, clean snipe. Elijah 420. Floor loot still. Ends up 13K, has a precision, um, and a dead silence, which we've seen a lot of dead silences in one of our previous matches. I think we saw a total of like 12 dead silence in one match. Uh, so... I don't think this is going to beat that, but it is what it is. So he has floor loot. Also low level. Only level two. This is like his second match. On... What's going on here? We just stun in the buy? Okay, open this buy. It hasn't been opened yet. This guy also has packet loss with 90, uh, 90 latency. And I, I know a lot of people bring that up and be like, Oh, I have 70 all the time. What, you know, Why are you complaining that it's over 40? It just means that skill-based matchmaking is in control more of the actual matchmaking than my connection, which it gets kind of frustrating at times. Um, because then that means, like, you know, that's not a normal ping. Because for me, I should be connecting to LA 100% of the time. There's never a time that I'm solo queuing I should connect to the East or even Central. There are, like, five servers near where I am for, that COD can connect me to. Uh, at least five, and those are 100% better than a Central or East Coast server, and I should always have 15 to 25 ping, somewhere in that mix, not 75. That means the game is just throwing us, the game, we know the game's not dead, right? Um, it just is what it is, you know? Something we all gotta deal with. It was an issue before, you know, but, you know, obviously over time they decided that that's the better method. So another dead silence there, that makes two, and stopping power, yeah. Very rare. Are you going to put in these guns or are you going to put in your loadout gun? Smart player are going to put in their loadout gun. So it's very interesting to me that they seem like a very competent, I mean a semi-competent player. It's kind of hard to tell how good they are from the little bit of gameplay here. But it seems like they're at least pretty knowledgeable. Going to pop the UAV, get his precision, use the stopping power with this loadout. At least the area is safe. That's not a bad move. You know where people are. You know there's one at hospital, two at hospital. Um, down here, you can see another one. You can see one on top of this big building, and then another one is coming down towards him. You can see that they're working their way up this street on the left. So he might be able to come out, hopefully, if he would have actually grabbed the, the right gun. He has his MP5 here. You would equip your stopping power, because if you have stopping power and MP5, you get barrel stuff, you're winning the gunfight, right? See, pre preem where the guy was. Now he double checks the heartbeat. This guy disappeared. He might have worked his way around the left. There goes the stopping power. The guy, I think he went around your left side somewhere, maybe. Use your heartbeat. You know the guy didn't have ghost. The guy didn't have ghost. He's gone now. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I, I, we don't know where the guy went, but preempt, like, I would have thought that the guy would have went down this left side, um, up here, and then maybe up here. I don't know, to this buy or this buy. Maybe he worked his way around. Either way, a little bit poor heartbeat sensor usage there. So we'll see how this player uh, goes. There's only 40 players left in the lobby, 41. Uh, as we know with solos, they tend to die out pretty quickly. Um, especially the sweatier the lobbies tend to die out quickly because with the sweatier lobbies and skill-based matchmaking, you're more likely to run into a cheater. Um, so that's why a lot of times they don't take cheaters seriously. Um, because it's not impacting their player base. It's impacting 
the top players and average and above average players because those people see the top end lobbies where they're like a 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.3, 1.4. Sometimes people are showing me even screenshots like a 1.6 where you look at the KDs in the lobby, there's clearly a hacker, like a 27 KD or something that's kind of bringing up that average. So if your lobbies feel particularly sweaty, but when you check the COD tracker and you see they're like a 1.7, there, there you got you could look through there's definitely going to be some kind of cheater in there um, if it's that high normally the highest you'll get on a regular queued lobby without a VPN without hacking without uh, if you're a regular player regular prime time in the evenings uh, when most people are like are when the game is uh, able to optimize matchmaking where you get in the sweatiest lobbies because there's more sweaty players online um, you end up with the situation where you're gonna likely run into those cheaters and then as soon as they get banned or shadow banned, they pop out with their new account. They get banned and pop out with their new account. That's why it's always confusing that people think all the cheaters are cheating, you know, all the, the streamers are cheating. Um, I'm sure there's tons of small streamers cheating all the time. But the fact that like a big streamer could be on the same account from the first day Warzone dropped until now, it's kind of odd. Whoa, you, you, you're you potatoing everything, bro. Oh my God. That guy did not, you know, he was not going to win that. That was potato aim to the max. Yeah, I just don't know how, like, I, I want to, you know, know that part of it because I've never heard anyone explain that. Like, how can someone be on the same account since the uh, start of Warzone? This guy's 180 ping. He's from the EU. Look at that, 250, 270. This ping is ridiculous, 300. What's going on here? Why that guy couldn't hit him? He's desyncing like crazy. Oh, this guy's dead. He's skipping all over. The guy probably can't even see him. What the hell is going on here? Oh. All right. This is kind of odd. The guy. Oop. There he is. He's sniping. He's sniping down low. You don't see him on the right. He's literally ADSing at you with his sniper glint. <laughs> he seems like a little bit of a sweat too. I mean, he's not playing that smart. He's just out in the open, but he probably has no confidence in this guy. Oh, nice. Lucky clean snipe. Too bad that guy did not have a, a self-revive. Not that it would have mattered. This guy probably would have closed the distance anyways. So we have 250 ping. This guy's like, oh, my ping's going out of control. Packet loss, packet burst or whatever. Yeah, so I haven't seen that explained because every hacker that like legitimately gets caught, they have like 20 plus accounts and they even steal accounts from people that don't have two-factor authentic uh, authentic authentication so that you can protect your account. So those accounts get stolen from people because they don't put that on because they're lazy about it even though it's very serious. And then their account gets stolen and it gets sold to somebody else who gets everything unlocked because you have dark matter or whatever. You have a uh, Damascus. And then now somebody cheater has a brand new account. They change the name. They change the password and email. Um, whereas two factor authentication could have, could have helped you out there. Um, but yeah, I, I still don't get that part of it. Like how can someone cheat the entire game's life cycle and still have the same account versus like these cheaters like, why wouldn't the cheaters just get that cheat that, like, is good, but then, like, it doesn't get their account banned? Like, I, I don't understand that part of it. No, no no one's ever explained that part for as many people that think every cheater's, you know, every streamer's cheating. I, I still don't get that part. This dude is like, what the hell's going on? He's teabagging because he has one spectator, 10 kills. I don't think this dude's cheating either, but he does have 10 kills, which is kind of a lot for, for solos, especially with this guy. He, he probably VPN from like, I don't know, the EU just because he felt like, I don't know, maybe he wanted to abuse uh, the connections because when your ping is high, sometimes it actually benefits you in game. A lot of times it does hurt you just because you don't get a consistent gameplay. Like you can see this guy's bouncing from 140 latency up to 200. There's a car coming up on the right. Is he going to do anything with this car? Okay. Nope. Going to pre-fire this. 
So in reality, he he he's like perfectly accurate there. It's just there's such a big difference with the latency gap that when you're in spectator mode, there's a lot of things you don't see. You don't see the pop-ups uh, when it says like, um, oh, he just got cracked by that dude. This guy has a lot of money too. It's just to waste it. He probably needs to get to a buy too, right? Is there a good buy near him? Maybe back off, get to this buy, get a self-revive, a UAV. He already has a precision. It's just too dangerous. You already know the guy has a sniper and you do not have the ability to one shot him. So this is already a mistake on his end. Um, he's in the middle of the zone. These people are getting pushed out of factory. You know, the people are going to be on top of those towers. Um, so why not back up? He's getting shot by somebody else. Sniper. You can see the glint. What is going on? That dude's laying prone. What kind of lobby is this? Like, this is near where I live the, when I connected to the host. Look at this. It's where I live. Nothing crazy. That is so bizarre, huh? This is a, like a weird lobby to begin with. The connection packet lost the entire time. The gulag, I could have won. Like, the guy had, like, zero clue what was going on. I swear, I swear it's because I haven't played so they're like, here, let's give him an easy lobby. Maybe we could hook him back on Verdansk again. Nope. Sorry. Again, I haven't played it just because there are too many cheaters in general. You'll go play. You get 12 minutes into a match, 15 minutes. You run into a cheater. And it's like, all right, let's queue up for another one. Versus Rebirth, it's like you'll run into the cheater within three minutes. Because usually they're pretty aggro. And if you're aggro, you're going to run into them. So what does he buy here? Self-revive. Will he get a UAV? He's taking way too long at the buy. Prep for area recon. Yeah, I just not interested. Move on my waypoint. So I still play Rebirth and I'm uh, uploading Rebirth over there. Plus, the skill-based matchmaking, since it's not as popular as a mode, is super light compared to Verdansk in general. So it just ends up being like a more casual game mode. Move on my waypoint. You get a fire sale every single match. There is spawn protection, so you don't get, like, beamed out of the sky. So that's kind of cool when you land. If somebody has good snipes, they get a headshot, though. You do get downed out of the sky. So a little bit of balance there. It has been a little bit campier and a little bit more sweaty, but still better. I'd rather have sweaty over any day over having cheaters at all in every match. Okay, he spots the guy. See how far he's behind, but it's still it's because it's 150 to 200 ping. So the guy went into the building. You got to choose your approach wisely, right? Like he was checking to see if the guy was climbing the ladder. Remember I was saying there's people rotating from this side of the map. Well, that wasn't like, like anything crazy. This is literally what happens from that side of the map. Everyone rotates from here. So you can expect that people are coming in. He's dead. That guy is beaming. He's running the stoner. All right. This guy was down lower to the right. He ended up missing the guy as he went behind there. So unfortunate. And this guy has the LC10. A lot of money. Everyone has money in this game. What's going on? Like, weird. We are up to 14 uh, players left. This is a top 15 right here. This guy's a dead silence, so that's like the fourth one here. Uh, luckily, you know, like I said, we didn't know where it was going to end. It could be on this side or this side. The big difference with that is if you're 100% playing for the win, you need to know which side the, the map is ending on. Because if it ends over here, crossing this street, there's a guy just called in a precision or maybe shot a weapon here. So that guy down there, there's another one that he's fighting. That is not the shot. That is way too far. I mean, you may trust your gun skill, potato, but I don't know. I would not be taking that. That is way too far. What is that? Like 200, like 150 meters? 170 meters? That's a that's a far shot. Okay. See, so he's uh, rotating on the outside. I know a lot of people like that term, pinway. Uh, that guy's sniping him. Or not sniping him, but somebody's sniping from um, downtown. I know a lot of people like it because uh, Iceman Isaac coined the term pin <laughs> pinwheel rotation. I don't know if it originally. You can see the guy sniping from across. I already called it out like a while ago. You can get a UAV still too. You can get a precision. Nope, just let the buy go. 
You're going to rotate down. This is good. Changing angle at least. He could have went over there, bought a UAV, popped the UAV, bought another one, bought a gas mask, and then rotated out. I think 11K is enough to do that. 8K plus, what is the gas mask, 3K? Or even if it's 3,500, you're still good, right? Like, or you get a precision or a cluster that's cheaper. And that'll at least help you if you get somebody down. He hasn't really pulled out his uh, low, like, there it is. Pull back the LC-10. Uh, and then here it goes. Like, what I was saying... Knowing this zone, you would have been on top of this building right here, the biggest building. You're trying to play for a win. And then you would clear that roof. You would just clear it. Everything up top, you're clearing it. You clear the backside over here because you're up high. You would clear all this backside. I don't know why these guys have most wanted in, in this mode. It's so weird. They need to remove it and like replace it with scabs or, or bounties or whatever. Um, it's kind of up here. At least he has... Uh, we know that there's still a guy over there where he was looking, right? They're likely in the zone. We know that somebody was sniping to the left up here. He might have spotted someone. This optic, it zooms in a little bit too much, so you lose a little bit of peripheral. But it does make it a little bit easier to see your target, I guess, if they're already inside the center of your screen. So, yeah, now he's got to cross this no man's land. But you would clear this, and you would just look at this and make sure it's clear and then you would jump down and then get up on the top here some dude try to rpg him really that's like the play you're making bro um he's lining it up if this guy gets rpg it's gonna be so funny he's getting beamed by the guy over up the roof that he saw before you can't see him he's kind of behind that tree guy has the tracers on it makes it so easy to directionally find out where he's at um but now it's rotating. These guys are going to get pushed out. The, the ones in front of him and the ones on the right. So he could be trying to pick up some kills here. Maybe he's thinking he's playing a little more aggro. But he, he's definitely going to be caught going across. This guy, there he is. Nice. Easy clean kills. That's probably one of the easiest kills. You got to worry about this guy next to you with the car. He's going to be pushing out of there. Uh, and you're still in the gas. So you, you peek it, peek it. The guy could be on the other side of the hill, though. So you got to be very careful. I'd go up the edge. Have your LC-10 ready because it's going to be a close pop dead silence if you think the guy's still here. The guy might have taken off or maybe he died. I don't know. There's only eight players. Oh, there he is on your left. Oh, you saw him for like a... That's where dead silence. Like I said, preemptively, this guy has ghost. So once you had the heartbeat, you got to assume like, hey, you know, when... I almost thought maybe he could have died, but... Where he was at, that dude was positioned there to camp. And you can see he has the claymores ready. So that's a little bit more of a camper mentality. But that's okay. If you're playing for the win, this guy didn't do any recon. So he didn't know where the zone was going to end. All that top building, look at the roof. This is going to about to be out of zone. So this is where you'd be jumping down. And you'd be getting on the building to the right. Or you'd be getting the build with the buy station. There's only four other players. At least you're in zone. That's a W. You got to be very, very careful here. You do have the dead silence to work with. There's a loadout on this side, uh, but it only looked like there was one loadout, and I didn't see guns just sitting there. So it could be that this side is the, the weaker side of the map, and then the other side was the heavier side. You can hear gunfire to the right. He's just going to play passive. There he goes up top. So he knows the guy's there. Now playing that, there's two people on the right, plus them. So that's three people. You got to find the fourth player, right? Unless a player count went down. I didn't look at it quick enough. You got to wait for the shift. It's going to shift right now. Boom. All right, cool. So that guy's still in bounds. You're still in bounds. Just don't move. I would make sure you're ADSing though because people will see your flashlight. People will see your flashlight. So could have placed a claymore behind you too. So if somebody comes up behind... You can see the guy. The guy probably knows where he's at. Maybe he's pre-aiming with the sniper. This is not a bad play style. I mean, obviously he rotated late. So it's like, what are his options? He ego chows a guy on a head glitch. Very hard shot. Um, or you just camp. <laughs> like, and you try to third party the last people. And see where the zone rotates. Hopefully it rotates towards you. So you'll hear people jump off the roof. You'll get last second. You still have four ticks left on your gas mask. So you're you're in a decent spot here. One person died. So now we have two remaining. This guy has 25, like $22,000 too. 
kind of tricky. No precisions, no UAV. So that tells me that they were camping probably for quite a while, right? Like, I don't know. They got the Claymores ready. So that guy was in that building forever, just racking up money. He might have been the most wanted. That's why, he, I don't know. I don't know. You hear the footsteps to your left? You have a dead silence. I thought I heard footsteps on the left. That guy's jumping off for sure. You might be able to catch him. I would have my stoner out. Yep. They're fighting on the left. They're fighting on the left. They, you heard the door. Pop a dead silence. Pop a dead silence and you're going to shoot this dude in the back. Don't get caught with the gas mask animation. Dead silence. Dead silence. Dead silence. Dead silence. You deserved to lose that. Deserve to lose it. Pop your dead silence. You know it's the last people. You come up the right side with the gas mask. You shoot this dude in the back. He has no clue where you're at. Ay, ay, ay. Why do you have a dead silence? It's the most broken thing besides stopping power. Why wouldn't you use that? The guy definitely jumped and looked directly at him. He probably heard him sprinting in there. That's how it goes. Hopefully, guys, enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit the like button if you're brand new, want to find your way back. Double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate the support on the content. Obviously, if you're looking for Rebirth, go ahead and check it out on the second channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.